one. Okay, let's drop also our model and go set basic functionality to be array. Let's make more space. Just to the number count. So break the code. So we have next, for example, a box, yes. And we want to add on each one another one. So let's move it to count x axis. I'm gonna look for for loop. Of course, we need to subtract one, and then add the last index, not first one. Now, to figure out this like size of box, we can use our mesh and look for bounding box. Get bounding box. If you will make it, then you have minimum and maximum value. So if you subtract from maximum and minimum, you get exactly size. So we can split it because at this moment we're using x axis. And now if you take index and multiply by its width, by x value, you should get like exactly offset. Now let's make a vector from location and feed this to its x value compile save and check if it's working so if i will add two can see this is automatically adding of its own width okay let's add it to the rest of the so let's make more space. We can duplicate this one. Control D. I keep making with Control W from under four, and now if you will press Control W, it's like closing blueprint. But yeah, eventually. We'll get there. Okay, let's select this one. Now we're gonna subtract. From Y and this function our count is our size. index with our size. Y can duplicate for Z. And now we get our Z count in here. Now we work across all axes. Don't forget to connect to Z. Compile, save it, and let's see. so if like I add more, it's automatically. Okay, let's quickly recap what we did. So we take count, we're splitting in each different axis, and then we're looping each individually, and then each of each index of this loop, we're multiplying by box size, like of your mesh, it doesn't matter what, kind, what size your mesh will be, it's gonna give you precise, precise measurements for it. And then we're just adding for like updating on each loop, we updating location for each instance. Okay, now we can add offset for this. So let's take our offset. Break vector. And we f I think we should add before we multiply. So add node. Let's quickly check. Correct or no. Let's reset this one. Okay. Now if I'll start. Yes. Offset. 
Cost of access. So is the Okay, now we should have across all gonna give us global offset of asset if you have multiple objects let's add another one actually bring a new model like scale to minus you can change direction and I found that if we add and transform not on a component but like inter like injecting in this area on like instance transform that then it's like getting normal so that's why I put it transforms like on when we add in component Said this. Okay, let's see. It's getting a bit messy. But okay, now let's add the uh, individual transform for instance. Let's say I have those three chairs and I want this middle one to have different rotation. For that, we will need to bring another vector. Not vector, I'm sorry. Let's go to blueprint, select start, and call it F underscore instant the instant transform. That is instance data. If later we will want to add like more information for it. For that we will need to have let's go to our first gonna be ID for instance this we will need integer and then select transform we can close it. I'm creating separate struct because inside our current asset data struct i want to have like array because you want to have like multiple assets maybe you want to change it so now let's add one more variable calling instance data or instance transform 